Hey Scale Nation guys, welcome back. Joe here again, scalefreak.com. In the garage, well what's left of the garage, as you can see I've been doing some renovating in here. I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. It's a multi-year project to get new insulation, new drywall, make this place look amazing. I've got all new lights, uh, so it's lit up a little bit. But I, I need to get all the things that I've ever wanted because I'm finally making the garage what I've always wanted it to be. And my latest thing, because again, getting the walls and stuff all back together again is ultimately going to be a multi-year project. I'm not the most handy and I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna figure out how to re-insulate the entire place, drywall, mud, tape. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, but the first step is I got a lot of videos that I still wanna do and I need a really nice bench and a good backdrop to film against. So, ta-da! Bought myself a Milwaukee. 60 inch uh, desktop with this like cool metal peg wall, uh, nice butcher block, whatever dude. You'll see it in a few, so let's uh, perform some surgery here and open this bad boy up. I've been trying to buy this for a while. I've just been trying to uh, so what I'm looking for, rationalize it to myself and then I realize that I don't really need to rationalize anything. Uh, the Scale Nation wants their videos and I really enjoy the videos and my wife wants to be a part of the videos now. So I'm gonna get something worthwhile to do the videos against. So not only is this a way for me to get some new cool stuff into the Scale Garage, but also, it's sort of a commitment that I'm gonna make. I had to pay a lot of money for this thing. Just go to your uh, Home Depot and check out. Um, so now that I've bought it, I'm pretty much making a commitment to myself to use it to start making more videos. Now as you guys saw in my last uh, video um, this year, for Mother's Day, I didn't say that in the video, but for Mother's Day, I bought my wife tracks is from she really wanted it and she gets what she wants so I got it for her which means the red devil is going to get rebuilt and given to my son so this summer I'm gonna do a lot of family scaling it means a lot of upkeep on rigs and I got a lot of parts that I bought to install I got the new Tekken BXR Got the uh, the Tekken T360 servo. This is the front side. This is the side you really want to see. I gotta figure out how to get it off these skids. Uh, ship weight is 200 pounds. I'm only one dude, and uh, somewhere in here, I think there are wheels. Okay, yeah. hey, anything I can do to make this lighter to try to get off the skid is good for me. Instructions. I think I actually might read them this time. Give me uh Give me a moment to move this thing without giving myself a hernia. So I've got it on its back. It wasn't that bad. The cool part is, is it comes with enough styrofoam and cardboard and everything that you can actually lay like a nice cushion on the ground to, uh, to lean it backwards. It's, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's 200 pounds, but it's not hard to pivot. Um, we open the box. So uh, in the box, tools, in the box, huge. Monster casters, and then some other stuff. I'll go through it as I go. I can tell you what's in an RC car. I don't entirely know what's always in a, a big toolbox. I know there's some cool magnetic stuff. I know there's some stuff to separate some tools, but we'll go through all that. I think really the entertaining stuff is gonna happen when I've got it back up on its wheels and I can actually show you what can go in there. I, I actually, I mean, if you look in the back, there's a lot of tools back there, mostly RC stuff. Not a lot of house tools yet. 
yet, although I did recently buy a bunch of power tools for my wife. Uh, but you're gonna see a lot of stuff, this is like a lot of stuff, uh, that's gonna wind up in this box, not only for the RC stuff, but also for the house. So give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna put the wheels all on, get it back up on its front, then we'll talk about what it can do. All the casters are on, I got it back up on his feet. It's actually not too bad. Uh, uh, 4, 8, 16, 32 bolts with washers on the bottom. These casters are massive, huge. And of course, it comes with the tools, or you've just got power tools with hex bits and stuff on it, so it goes a lot faster. Let's turn it around. Oh, come on! Look at that! Uh, what is it, 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 drawers. Some of them are like ultra deep, and I'll show you these in a second. And like a box on the side, a key. Oh, this thing's gonna snap and kill me. There we go. The two keys. Good, because I'll probably lose one. And then big space with a shelf. That is probably where my rigs are gonna go. That's a pretty good spot for them. And I can lock them up. But hold on, let me give you, well, I need to lock it, I guess. A little bit better of a tour. One second. Oh, huh. watch this. This I thought was kind of neat. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get it. Ta-da! That's that magnetic peg wall. Like how, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, it's like, that's why I wanted to get this one over top of any of the other ones I was looking at. That and the 24 inch deep uh, chest that I got, or the, the tabletop I got going on. Let me show you a little more. All right, let's break you free from the tripod a little bit. So here we go. Big metal peg wall. There are braces that will go up here to make sure the peg wall does not fall. So drawers, deep. Uh, I believe these things are rated for 200 pounds per drawer, um, except for this one's rated for a lot more. I've seen some videos of full grown men standing in that drawer. Apparently that's a 400 pound drawer. And I'm digging this. Tool organizers. So I guess, pop this off here. You put all these jazz in there. However you're gonna put them. Like that I guess. So you can put them all in there. And then as I mentioned, you've got this big space. So there is a shelf in there. So I can put a couple of rigs. All these drawers are lockable. Uh, the door by itself, the top two drawers by themselves, and all the bottom drawers by themselves as well. No, that's probably not where that one goes. I think if it comes in here, oh, I know why, because that's on the end. I was reading that they just fit in and they close. And see, that's the soft touch door, right? This is kind of neat. I was looking online thinking, is this the one that I want to get? But watch, close it up and it just kind of does its own thing. So it's going to make it a lot easier for filming. And this guy here, is actually reversible. So on the other side, if I unbolt these, it's the same situation on the other side. So if I wind up making a mess of it, like I always do to all my pit stations, I can just flop it around. Oh my God, look how cool that is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, it's all put together and it's all, I just have, it's all done. I haven't peeled the stickers off yet, but okay. Let's talk about a few of the things that are on here. Number one, the wall is a multi-height. You can put it exactly where you want it to be. But in my case, top level, because I'm going to hang stuff on here, you have braces and screw knobs to make sure that the wall does not bend down or fall down under weight. It gives you the screws to actually screw these into the hard deck, which I'm not doing. Um, it also tells you to put them on the inside, which I didn't do because I'm not going to, I want more usable space. You also have a power supply on the side. So built-in power. I put the handle, you can, so stuff like the shelf, this shelf down here, which is awesome, this handle, that you can put on either side. Um, but what I did on this side was I put the tool holder, so I'll eventually get all my screwdrivers in there. Um, and then on this side, I wanted the handle where I'm gonna protect the plugs. Now I'm thinking what would be cool is if the soldering station went over here, maybe the charger, put the power supply down on the bottom down here, Maybe even put the charger and the power supply down here. That way, if there's a lipo problem, this is all steel, so I'm not gonna have a problem with that. 
So the drawers, what's really cool is each drawer comes with that foam stuff on the bottom. Uh, so one, two, now three. To give you an idea of the depth, there's a socket set and I can open and close it, no problem. Here, I've got my entire index of uh, bits, no problem. Again, drill, no problem. Uh, are the tool police gonna come and get me because I've just shown you a Milwaukee box with a Craftman socket set with a DeWalt screw index or, or bit index and a Ryobi drill. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this works. In RC world, somebody would make a comment. I wonder if it's gonna happen as well in the tool world. So if you take a look, I'll go around the back. The back, I mean, okay, it's the back of a toolbox. Oh, this over here, <laughs> this is all the garbage that came from this. Uh, the styrofoam, the cardboard, the skids, and there's some over here. So uh, I, got some, I got some throwing up to do. Give me a few minutes, I'm gonna load this thing up with tools and uh, well, I just wanna load it up with tools. Give me a second. There it is all loaded up. Well, not completely loaded up, I got some tools. There's some stuff on the side. There's kind of my, okay. There is no rhyme nor reason to what's going on right now except for the fact that, that is hexes and Allen keys, drivers. This is some cutting stuff and some measuring stuff. Yeah, we saw that, eh, nothing there. Hammers, you know, why not? So drill in there, a whole pile of other tools in the bottom down here. They all stack in really, really well. Of course, you've got my secondary charger. Actually, I think that's like my third charger, plus my soldering station, pliers, more stuff. I'm gonna fit a couple more trays in here. And then in here, Red Devil and Red Knight and their radios both hidden up where I can lock them up so that is the new station. You know what, actually, I think an important thing to do would be to show you how you're gonna see videos from now on. How about that? How about that for a new build station, workstation? I can get in here with my hands. I can get up here with my trucks. Now I've got my tools at hand so I don't have to dig for stuff and run over to a different bench. Guys, this is, this is something that I've been looking forward to for a really, really, really long time is getting something like this set up. Um, I really wanted to have a nicer workstation, something that's a bit more organized. And hopefully with the addition of this, I'm gonna be able to get the shop all in order. Few things that have to happen, might as well do it on video. The supporters of Scale Freak since the beginning, since the absolute very beginning. CalRC. Guys, I got the custom Canadian stickers. So CalRC. Heath has been with me since the very beginning when I opened the business back in 2011. So Heath, you're going right here, buddy. Moo. Then we've got Skycraft, which is my local hobby shop. One in St. Catharines, one in Burlington. These guys are absolutely amazing and are helping Scale Freak out a ton this year. Of course, anybody who knows, knows. I'll just leave it at that. And come on, last but not least. Done. What you're looking at here is the new workstation and the supporters of Scale Freak for this year. Believe me guys, I'm not looking for a lot of people this year. I like being able to do it on my own and say whatever I wanna say. And uh, I know you guys will dig that a lot more. So anything you see on this bench is something that I paid for <laughs> and uh, including the bench. Uh, so I can give you my honest opinion on everything that you see on here. This is where I'm gonna remodel my trucks. This is where I'm gonna teach my wife and my child how RC works, and this is where we're gonna share a lot more adventures. Guys, thank you very much for watching me unbox my new toolbox, tool chest, toolbox, whatever you wanna call it. And um, this is your new view. I hope that this is gonna be nice and clean. I got a good lighting set up in here now, no shadows, well, barely any shadows. And uh, if you know what that is, comment down below. Uh, and uh, God, I'm so damn excited. It's super late at night. Probably should have been in bed by now, but I really wanted to get this done for you guys tonight. 
I'm so excited. I waited a long, long time for this. So guys, thank you very much. Uh, click on the like, click on the subscribe, comment below. And of course, if uh, you know anybody who likes something like this, share it out with the community. Help anybody you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock this thing up and uh, I'm going to bed. You guys have yourself an amazing night. Thanks for watching. Let's be tuned for uh, a really good summer of scaling with the family. Thanks guys.